almost every place in Chennai, but Mylapo is one place I haven't explored as yet. So I'm standing outside La Boutique and I'm going to find out if they have anything at all for me. On a busy main road in Mylapo, you would see a small signboard which reads La Boutique. Easy to miss, this store is sure different from what I expected. Boutique started a year ago and uh, it was a passion for my mom from a long time to start a boutique. That too, there are very less boutiques in Mylapur, so she had a passion from many years to start a boutique. I'm at La Boutique, a tiny little store tucked away at the basement and they seem to have quite a bit stacked in this little store and this hassle-free compact ambience is just what I'm looking for. A well-lit boutique, you will find clothes stacked on all sides. The white lights give the shop a neat classy look and complement the vibrant clothes. Like me, if you're unsure of what you want, going through the rows and rows of clothes can be tiresome. The clothes are plenty and are sorted based on the designs. So finding a particular pattern or design that you like is much easier than finding a dress that's your size. La Boutique is uh, mainly focusing on salwar materials and salwar suits. We have a wide range of uh, salwar suits and salwar materials in, from daily wear to designer uh, wear. We also do in-house tailoring for one who requires any customized in the suits or the material. Ethnic wear for women is what you will find here. But what steals your attention is their Salwar Kameez collection. that the salwar kameez was traditionally worn by both men and women in South Asia and Central Asia. Well, they have come a long way now and there are many variations from style, cut, print and pattern. A salwar kameez is versatile and can be worn casually and at the same time can even be worn to a wedding. Hindi function. I don't want too grand. I'm the kind who gets conscious of what I wear at a formal gathering. I don't like to give the impression that I am under or overdressed. This is when salva suits become my saviors. And fortunately, they never fail to bestow you with graceful charm. at La Boutique is hand-picked from various parts of India and there are some exclusive pieces like this one which has bold patterns and also has handmade embroidery and some even have Swarovski crystals. There's limited stock when it comes to simple salva suits but if dressy ones interest you then the ones here will light up your eyes and literally as most of them are vibrant and quite jazzy. Though hand embroidered ones are what I would rather prefer to wear, there are a lot of salvas with detailed work. Mirror work, sequence work, pearl work, stone work, gota work to name a few. But there are select pieces which have a mix of different styles of work and give a much richer look than the others. A Salwar Kameez ensemble is complete only with a dupatta. The dupatta is usually draped around the body, but in some cultures it's wrapped around the head. Dupattas can add a lot of depth to your Salwar suit. 
Traditionally, they were draped around the body and were at times treated as a symbol of modesty. But their use has undergone a metamorphosis over time and in current urban fashion, they are treated as more of an accessory. The trendy cotton kurtis here with simple necklines and interesting cuts are nice. There's the simple straight cut to the umbrella and anarkali cut. But the dressy ones didn't suit my taste. But if you like a lot of work on the neckline, then you might probably favour this over the simple ones. If you like a particular piece, but your size is unavailable, don't fret, because they do alter clothes at the boutique itself. Alteration can sometimes ruin the look and the cut of the dress, then it's safest to opt for an unstitched or semi-stitched dress material. There are many ways in which you can tie a sari, right from the Kodagu style to the Malayali style and the Oriya style. But the most popular style and the one which I am in is the Nivi style. How can I not look at saris? They have very little variety here and most of them are pretty simple. Since I like lightweight saris, georgettes are what I prefer. In earlier times, zari was associated only with the rich. It was made of pure gold or silver threads. But after industrial revolution, imitation zari became more popular. But now, it's metallic zari that's more in vogue. Zari never goes out of style. Get zari embroidery done on any plain salva suit or sari and see it transform into grand looking attire. Zari can enhance and give a lustrous appeal to any outfit. Though not all the clothes here suit my taste, there are a few that I really like. But I'm not going to be an impulsive shopper and buy anything as yet because there's lots more to explore.